speaker, including the call department, faculty members, and students. I welcome everyone to today's webinar on my story, motivational lecture by successful innovator. Now, I request Dr. S. D. Chanoy, Vice Principal and President of IIT, Dr. P. T. I. T. to give the welcome address. Uh, good afternoon and warm, warm welcome to all. I am privileged to offer welcome address for this special session on uh, my story, motivational session by successful innovators and virtually. I take this opportunity to thank our beloved president of Golden Valley Education Trust, Dr. T. Venkat Vardhan, for his continuous support and best wishes. On this occasion, uh, let me extend a warm and hearty welcome to our esteemed guest, Dr. D. Doreen Robin, Founder and Director, Computational Intelligence Research Foundation, Chennai, who has uh, readily accepted our invitation and will enlighten us about the success story of an innovator. Namaste, madam. I extend my warm welcome to our principal, Dr. Syed Arif, our Dean, Prof. Rukmini Divakaran, and all the members of Dr. TTIT family, including teaching and not teaching staff to this function. Also, mm -hmm. I welcome all the students who are there in this session. I request all of you to actively participate and make it an interactive session rather than just listening to the session. Clarify all the doubts and make this session a memorable. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I request Professor Shalini B, Department of PSC, Dr. TBIT, to give a brief introduction about today's session speaker, Dr. D. Doran Robert. Good afternoon to all. I take this opportunity to introduce today's speaker, Dr. D. Dorian Robin. Dr. D. Dorian Robin is the Director of Computational Intelligence Research Foundation. She received her B.Tech in Information Technology from Madras University, Chennai, M.P. in Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University, Chennai, Ph.D. in Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University. Her research interests include parallel and distributed computing, peer-to-peer -peer computing, grid computing, cloud computing, and big data analysis. Previous positions include professor and head at Loyola ICAM College of Engineering and Technology in the Department of Information Technology, assistant professor at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Chennai, Teaching Research Associate at the Department of Computer Science, Anna University, Chennai, and Assistant Professor at the Department of Information Technology, Assistant College of Engineering, Chennai. She has published about 30 papers in international and national journals and conferences. She is a life member of ISTE, reviewer for Computer and Electrical Engineering Journal and Future Generation Computer Science Journal. She had been the resource person for the workshop on digital classroom, big data analytics using Hadoop, data science using Python, machine learning, deep learning, cognitive computing, software testing, blockchain technology, cyber security, and cyber forensics. We welcome you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I request Dr. D. Dorian Robin to take over the session. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Good evening to one and all present here. 
a very special on behalf of computational intelligence research foundation uh, i would like to thank the entire management the fraternity the faculty of dr t timamaya institute of technology kgf especially the department of computer science and engineering for having invited me to give a talk webinar on my story motivation session by successful innovators hope this session will be grateful to you the way in you step in will not be the way you step out of the session a very special thankful note to dr h g Shanai sir, the vice principal of Dr. TTIT College, Shalini ma'am, thank you for the wonderful uh, introduction. A very special thanks to the coordinator, Dr. Lena ma'am, and uh, Daphne ma'am for having coordinated with me throughout the session for and inviting me. All right. So the entire session we are going to share. It is going to be as uh, rightly said by the vice principal. It is going to be an interactive session. Okay. With one hand, you cannot get a sound. When you tap two hands only, you can get a sound. The first question for the day. You can give your answers on the chat. Don't think it's not going to be a very difficult question. How are you today? Let me quickly see your answers on the chat. You cannot say it is out of syllabus. All right. I hope students you are uh, active. And I always love the Department of Computer Science because we are under the same domain. You can just give it to normal. Thank you, Ramya. You are good. Others? Yes, thank you, Prem. That I don't know your staff is student. Good. And I want everybody to interact. You can say how you were today. Good, ma'am. Thank you, Read to me. Others, we have uh, got more than 50 plus people. Good. You can phrase even your own sentence. How are you today? Yes. Okay, to uh, throw the session, I'll be asking questions, some questions depending upon it, and you can give. Okay, wonderful. This is the only session. Everybody are giving us the same answer that you could sometimes they say, I'm fine. Yeah, it's okay. But in this pandemic situation, and you know, I'm from Chennai, it's outpouring here. It's outpouring here. But God has given us the grace and mercy to get connected with you. Fine. Thank you, Shweta. All right. So today you're going to see about uh, my story, uh, motivational session. Let's see how far we get motivated, right? So and I'm very happy that most of you have said you're fine, you're good. Okay, let me share my screen with you. You are able to see my screen. One of you could unmute. You are not okay. Okay, Divya, ma'am, you will be okay. You are able to see my screen. Let me come to. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, yeah, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. So as said, I'm Dr. Doreen Robin. I've been into engineering colleges for a decade as professor in HOD. Then I started this company called Computation and Resistance Research Foundation. It's a new business uh, initiative that we have taken. Uh, it's a section eight company. We have registered under Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India, where basically we work on research and development and technologies like uh, big data analytics, machine learning, deep learning, cyber forensics, knowledge management, and and we, during this pandemic time, my husband has already given a talk to your college. Myself and my husband, we have trained more than 5,000 plus faculties around the world on education technology. We started evangelizing this right from the year 2017, but the importance really struck around the world when the pandemic entered its way into the world. All right. So... What's about my story? As you all know about him, he's my husband, Dr. C. R. Rene Robin. He's the Dean Innovation at Sri Sairam a Group of Institutions. And I'm Doreen Robin. We are blessed uh, with two children, and they are in their schoolings right now. Okay. I had completed my BTEC IT in the year 2004. Then that time, ME was not that great. 
All right. When I stepped in TME, out of 60, most of them were into their jobs at the time. But um, uh, I, I joined ME, maybe from, with the pressure of my parents, they wanted me to upgrade myself. And then I went into a very good college. And that is where my research started working in 2006. And after which, and I completed my PhD in the year 2011, between which I had been working in the Department of IT as Assistant College of Engineering as a assistant professor. After my PhD, I started working at the Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering as an assistant professor, grade three. All right. And then once I come, then from there, I was directly shifted to Loyola Icom College of Engineering and Technology as professor in HOD. Okay, all these 10 years had been working, then something was striking in my mind. Okay, let me start up something where most of the students around the world, the faculties, the companies, where we could be able to support many people on to the latest technology. That is where we started this company called Computational Intelligence Research Foundation. Okay, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change as said by charles darwin i read it once again you cannot see you sometimes most of the times you think right i'm not in the top of the class i think i'm not talented you know i'm not able to do good programs i'm totally coming down i don't know what i'm going to do it is not the one who's the strongest of the species that survives nor even the more intelligent, it is the one that is most adaptable to change. Okay, how many of you are experiencing online classes? How many of you have experienced online classes before March 2020? If the, if the answer is yes, type Y. If the answer is no, you can type in. I repeat the question. How many of you have experienced online classrooms or webinars or online teaching before March 2020. Is my question clear? Yes, no. You can give your answers on the chat. At least you can give me one letter Y or N. Waiting for your answers. I repeat the question. How many of you, it could be students or faculties, you have experienced online classes or online, we have experienced about seminars, not webinars, before March 2020? No, Saranya, thank you. What about the other 60 plus? No, no, yes, no, Janvi, no, yes, no, 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 no. Whether this pandemic has affected your academics? It has not affected. It is the one that's most adaptable to change immediately. Everybody be adapted to change to be successful. Your college is successful in teaching it. This is the best example to be successful in life. Every one of us could be successful. Most of the time you think all the doors are closed. There will be a time. And when myself and my husband, we started training people on educational technology in 2017, we were not welcomed so much. And uh, we have a school in Ayanavaram in Chennai. And we started setting up the Google suit and Google classrooms in 2017. We have 3,000 plus students studying in this institution. And the parents started coming and asking us, why for students you're giving us email? Oh, why there is a need for email for a student? That too from your domain. We don't know anything, ma'am. That is what. When the pandemic started, the very next week, we were able to start online classes in our school. That time, though parents started us calling us and telling us ma'am you started doing this in 2017 that time we were asking you questions why did you do this google class why did you go do this why are you giving email to these children but now we are able to reap the fruit of it so it is not don't ever think students that you are not successful in life you will become successful not the intelligent will become successful only you should have a self-confidence in your mind to be successful in your life. It is the one that is most, you have got the best example. We have never experienced, see, I am in Chennai, you are in Bangalore, and 60 plus of you are listening to this talk. All right, this is the best. It is the one that adapts, uh, adaptable to change, you will become successful in life. Okay, I don't know how many of you know about the story. There was a farmer, all right, the farmer had a very beautiful girl. 
okay she is not married it and the farmer was in a great debt he has to pay for many people he's a very poor farmer and when every time he goes to the field and for something or the natural disaster happens he's not able to reap out of it and then uh, onto the same village where this farmer and this daughter was staying all right and there was a man old man okay not very old a kind of a you see right narrow-minded person he has got a lot of money he used to give people money and then he get, gets them back after that certain time then this farmer had no other way to survive so with a heavy heart he went into this farmer and he asked him can you give me some money okay then it was a huge money the father the money lender that man said that narrow-minded man said it's okay i can give you the money but i want you to pay six months within six months the money back then the farmers are happy okay six months i will be able to reap most of it and i'll be able to do it and months passed months passed months after months it passed away all right after six months he was not able to pay him back but what was the condition given by the man who gave money if you are not able to give me back the money i will marry your daughter understand very well understand this farmer was in a great debt he went to this man to get money he gave him six months you can return back the money along with the interest if not i will marry your daughter all right months first month when second month when third month when fourth fifth and sixth month the day has come still the farmer is not able to get the money to move back to the money lender so on to the particular day where he has to give the money he is not having any money then what he should do all right he took his daughter he cried a lot he hugged her i don't know i'm a useless man i don't know what i'm to do the girl said wait let's go and meet him okay then he took the daughter to this old man all right and the, the old man said yeah you are ready with the money the farmer cried and said no i tried my level best i'm not able to get the money back that's what i brought my daughter and then he was so happy okay then the man said i'll give me one more chance i'll give you one more chance i will take he had a beautiful garden this man who lent money right he had a beautiful garden on the beautiful garden they had some stones okay white and black pebbles and he said to that old man i will pick two pebbles here you are, there are white and black pebbles i'll take two pebbles one i will have it a white and one i will have it a black pebble on my hand i will ask your daughter to select one of my hand if she selects my hand which carries a white pebble you need not pay back my debt okay and i will not marry your daughter okay if she touches the uh, hand with a black pebble i will marry your daughter you need not pay back the debt so the farmer was so confused you know you should understand how heavy hearted he would be with his daughter then she was so uh, he said okay let's try this and this girl had a very creative mind okay she is a very smart girl she saw that old man was picking two pebbles both were black she saw it and she was very and she told i after you take you can show me i will i will get then he took both the black uh, pebbles and they are standing on the garden where the pebbles were there full black and white pebbles as she selected one hand and she took a pebble from the man's hand and she dropped it down she dropped it down okay so the next then she said sorry sir i dropped the pebble down let me check with what color is on to your next hand which will be definitely if it is white on to your hand what you are having it will be the black pebble i should have dropped if it is black it should be white now you can understand what it will be in the hands of the farm that old man right it was a what color pebble can i have the answers on chat it is a black pebble and she said yes thank you read to me i don't know whether you're so yeah you are all listening to the story very carefully it was and then this girl said then the fortunately what should have i should have dropped sir it is white so thank you so much thank you so much and she went away happily all right see what is that as students you have to think being a computer science professional the one thing that is more important to use a creative thinking this girl saw the old man picking black pebbles and so and they are standing on the garden 
which is white and black pebble. She got the pebble and wantonly dropped it off. And she showed the next hand it was a black pebble and she escaped off. So many times in programming or whatever in your life, your creative thinking, this girl has got a very good creative thinking on her mind, okay, to find solutions to problems. Okay, to find solutions, to become an innovator. Okay, invention, many people have done invention. Innovation is invention and commercialization. You make it something more better than that. Okay, so creative thinking is much needed to be successful in your life. Okay, what it is, who it's for, who are we communicating, how it works, how to access, what you need, why, how and what. This is these questions. I want you to capture it, and this will be most useful for you to be successful in life. With the right attitude, most situations are winnable, even the ones that at first may seem impossible. I repeat it with the right attitude. See, the girl, the situation, every door seems closed. With the right attitude, most situations are winnable, even the ones that at first may seem impossible. And students listening to the talk, listen carefully at the end of the talk. We will have a live quiz. It's simple, five multiple choice questions. It's a live quiz. All the questions will be from the talk. Listen carefully. Let's know who will be the winner for the day. All right. So always have a right attitude where more, even sometimes you think it's not winnable. Am I worthwhile? You are worthwhile and you are the smartest of all. In 2000, if you should, you could, you think that ma'am, okay, you completed, you completed your course, you got your job, decided, you know, life is not always easy. In 2015, that time I was the HOD of the Department of IT in Loyola Ecamp College of Engineering and Technology, Chennai. I had fever on April last day of April and that I had a parents teachers meeting, meeting with parents because that's the end of the semester, the students have to complete the revision exams and preparing them for the semester. As I came back home, I had fever, so I was taking dollar 650 and after afternoon, I was not able to sit in the college. That is the very first time I called my principal through phone. I said, sir, I'm not feeling well, I have to go home. Then I came back home. After coming back home, I was not able to work properly. Just had a simple fever. And the next, from the next morning, I, I, early morning, May 1st, I had a program as an, as an inspection officer to visit uh, a kids program over there. Okay. But I, I said, okay, to them, I thought it's fever. I'd be, but May 1st, on 2015 morning, 5 o'clock, I went to the restroom. After sitting on the closet, I was not able to get up. And then I was not able to walk right from April, the last 30th, until the May 1st, I was not able to pass urine. Okay, then they carried me, my husband, literally he carried me to the hospital early morning. And then they were able to find, they were not able to find anything. I was in the hospital for 13 days. The next day from May 1st, below my hip, nothing moved. I was on the hospital bed. Okay, even my toe finger didn't move. If my uh, the urinary bladder would carry maximum one liter of urine. I had two liters. And using catheter, they removed it off. And doctor said, no, you're not moving. The next day, I was taken into ICU. Okay. I had kind of memory losses. Okay. Nothing was imagined. The following day, my both hands were not movable. They're trying to feed me something. My hand and my mouth were not coordinating. But my son was just one and a half years old. And I was in the hospital. And everything was stopped the day before. And you can see just one day changed our life. And I was there in the hospital for 13 days. Then I told the doctor, no, I'm not going to stay in the hospital. Take me home. The doctor said, I can move only by wheelchair. I cannot move by any anything else. Then they just carried me in a chair and they kept me at home. And the entire month was horrible. And another doctor came, a military doctor came and he said, no, you should not eat much. Furthermore, in your life, you cannot walk further. Just a few days, they took MRIs and skitis and many devices, many things they took and many specialists came they gave different medicines but not even my toes started moving then you know my parents my husband they are the one who took care of me and we just were praying to god you know on july slightly may june there was no moment july slightly my toes started moving july I was able to 
started walking see sometimes things become impossible in our life and now you know i after which i worked in the college for a an year then i started this company and i go for different colleges different corporates to train people workshops we stand for so many hours to teach now everything became normal sometimes in our life sometimes we become it is failure only with the right attitude and grace and mercy of god we will become successful in life All right this is a very short story of my of how god has been so good unto you and to me okay uh, now let's move into the successful innovator see how many of you know about sarang sumesh okay he is from kerala kochi okay he is an youngest innovator you know you are all doing college is just 10 years old he has built his first robot in the year just he was 4 years old today he has created dozens of robots okay a walking stick for the visually challenged a robotic hand a humanoid robot that fires bullets a smart seat belt so so much and so more innovation is different invention they are innovators okay the next innovator these are school students the next innovator that i would like to present to you is kavya vignesh she has built a robot to save bees you know right how would they take honey bees all right along with the team we save a boat okay she was just well and she she thought that beehives are destroyed and a lot of bees are getting killed so he relocating a beehive without harming the robot name is light night mcq okay so the next innovation that you could see is by akash manoj who developed a skin patch to detect silent heart attacks silent heart attacks okay to detect heart attacks in people in 2017 all right the positive members and the negative release by the heart attack you know uh, there was a great loss in karnataka right the actor uh, puneet rajkumar sir right that so painful okay you can think as students you can think something to innovate um uh, day before as uh, yesterday myself and my husband we visited amts andhra medtech zone okay they have got a good incubation center in medi valley where they are open for innovators like you okay you can have your ideas they are there they are there once they have competition then you challenge for it you grab it and they are seed funding for your object and that we were able to meet two final year students of engineering raman and lakshmanan okay they are de- they are developing a device for the people who can't hear right the device to keep without an electric uh, without metals okay so you know when they have it they are they are not uh, they cannot go in for mri scan they can when they do the operation even without operation on the uh, inserting in the cochlea okay so uh, the like this there are more variety of you need not have fun only thing you need to have as students you should have an idea many many incubation centers are there around the world tamil nadu kerala karnataka okay and andhra pradesh where the entire government of india is supporting you all right i know iic in timamaya university institute of technology you are doing a wonderful job all right so have an idea we'll be seeing about that in the future slides so these are some of the innovation then the final one is uh, singh who developed the vis- visually impact reading okay so an assistive device called i scribe to help visual people to read books he was in class 12 now we are in college third year and finally that's what i got it the people who are listening to it okay and you can do it in more better anand tadar okay he made goggles for the blind when he was studying in class 11 okay so likewise there are so many ideas you have to convert your ideas invention innovation and commercialize and put it onto the supply chain all right so how many of you have seen grinders no, grinders grinders at home how many of you it's only the duty of my mother what does the grinder do can i have the answer so chat or you can unmute nobody how many have you seen grinders at home am i audible i hope i'm audible yes how many of you have seen grinder or one of you could say what is the use of grinder quick please okay 
Okay. See, this is the most difficult situation for women or anybody who does grinding, right? Even you can soak the rice flour, you can soak the wood dal and all. But cleaning, cleaning the grinder is the difficult thing carrying Hello away. friends, welcome. Now you can see here. See here, you can see a grinder. It is called a smart grinder. It is a smart grinder. Here it is they have developed in Coimbatore. It's one of very good invention, innovation. Sorry, not invention. It's an innovation. Okay. See what they have done. You need not keep hands at all. I think professors, many professors are there. Okay, see, you can just, I'll show you. You need not wash. You have to just pour, um, pour the water into it. The grinder will automatically wash. Can you see a knob over here? Okay, this is the grinding stone. Okay. So first we have to fix it up and And you can close it and once you switch it on this is how the grinder is switched on and you can just pour water onto that and automatically it cleans and flushes the water outside before you start grinding before we start grinding this is an example of a smart grinder and they've commercialized it okay and then you know the next process is similar you you put your floors okay the rice floor now the grinder is clean now we put the rice okay once the machine is switched on can you see they put the rice it started grinding okay and that time this knob will be closed okay this knob will be closed once the grinding procedure is over you need not keep any hand inside the grinder can you see it is automatically bringing the floor outside the itli floor can you see this is a very very simple innovation not invention already the grinder is there okay and even after which you can clean it throughoutly it can be cleaned Okay, first they remove the rice flour, then the urdal, until the end of it, without keeping hand inside which, it cleanly clears the, see, this is a very good help for people, all right. Innovation distinguish between a leader and a follower. Innovation, it distinguish between a leader and... There are many people who have invented it. Okay, there are many people who have invented it. Now, the biggest need of India and everybody here is innovation. That is what even the title for today is successful innovators. That is what Steve Jobs says. Innovation dis distinguishes between a leader and a follower. Invention, formulation of new ideas uh, for products or processes or whatever it is. Okay, there are many people who have invented it. Now, innovation is more and more important. The practical application of new invention into marketable products. See, whenever you see a symbol of this kind, okay, whenever you see a symbol of this, what we automatically we see, can you see in my camera? If you see this symbol, what do you see? What do you say? An apple symbol. What comes to your mind first? Yes, answer please. Few more minutes to go. It's an iPhone. Thank you. Yes, it's an iPhone or it, uh, immediately that comes to your mind as an Apple logo. Because somebody has innovated, invented it. And innovation and Steve Jobs had made a very drastic change of getting ideas from people. After the session, I want you all to go and check who was the master brain behind this Apple, right? Is it Steve Jobs or is it somebody else, okay? If you're able to find the answer by the end of the session also, you can share it with me. So, innovation is invention into commercialization okay and you have an idea 
okay after 5 10 minutes i'm going to ask you students anybody have you got any idea you are using lot of mobile phones computers gadgets smart tv smart fridge smart watch smart washing machine can you tell me ma'am if this particular feature will be on to this uh, gadget it it should be of more help for you that is a challenge question i'll ask you after 10 minutes you can tell me it it is it could be just an idea that you thought if it is there that it will be useful for you so you are an idea you've got a good set of faculty members during your college you can have an idea interaction with them do a research and invent to design engineer and prototype things that is where your creativity you remember i told about creative thinking about the story of the farmer and the girl do you remember it all right so invention is design engineer and prototype it this is the best time in your lifetime okay college time you have got a good set of faculty who are enriched with the knowledge Okay, you have got companies like us where we are here, we're here to overhear you. Many students are there in my companies. I did that. They come with an idea. They get themselves trained on technology. They develop the product. They go to patents. Still, product development. Nowadays, it's not the project is not the end. It is the product. It is the product. Innovation is invention into commercialization, delivery and acceptance. The grinder I showed you, right? The huge sale is being happening over there because of a small innovation under the existing grinder. there is a master brand so it should be a broad benefit and ipr you'll be working on with it that is what india's vision is all about it says that it should be it should be reachable and for a broad benefit for the society for the market for benefit of all the people okay you are able to understand idea invention innovation now you can have just an idea okay you can interact with your faculty members to try to brainstorm or with set of people all right where you can prototype things and then you can innovate all right i'll be asking you a question after some time and you can tell me ma'am invention see i'm going to tell you the difference between invention and innovation. the first wheel was an invention innovation is there was an axle there was a wheel that makes the transport set that's an innovation we had world wide web facebook how many of you have used facebook or whatsapp or instagram from today from morning till now what are the um, applications that you have used in your mobile let me have your answers on chat it is not only me speaking it could be a computer or mobile what are the applications you use only today right from morning you woke up answers on chat quick girls and boys yeah whatsapp yes others only two answering out of 60 Instagram yeah if you ask me i have opened my whatsapp facebook instagram twitter gmails pubg okay snapchat yeah now people started using chat snapchat yes others what about others quick quick i want everybody to answer i hope you are all awake yes no yes nice to get answers okay so so many applications the you can become even an innovator you've got a mobile you've got a system you've got so many ideas around you make your ideas prototype it then you innovate it invent innovate and commercialize it you will become successful in life okay don't think that i'm able to that's just a power of an idea see the small grinder one idea of evacuating the floor automatically it they are commercializing it and is widely accepted facebook just started i will not say for what in for what was uh, the inception or for what facebook was started i will not say but after the session you can go google it and found just a power of an idea it is connecting with so many people it is connecting with so many people all right all right and then necessity is the mother of inventions okay basically you say necessity is the mother of invention when you take innovator okay when you take innovator inventor somebody i told right wheel is an invention and the car or the vehicle that is it's an innovation inventor is the father of innovation i repeat it there are inventing is different innovation is inventing into commercialization every time invention and innovation will not be the same inventor is the father of innovation without an invention you cannot go for innovation so inventor who is over is inventing is the father of innovation 
but entrepreneurs are fathers of innovation you are you will become a successful entrepreneur when entrepreneurs are successful innovators sometimes inventors are different entrepreneurs are different that is the case with steve jobs on apple after the session you can go and find it or i don't want to declare it here today's meeting inventor is the father of innovation entrepreneurs are the father of innovation most of the time inventors and entrepreneurs will not be the same can you guess who is this on the picture any idea who is this yes no do you remember who is this any clues you need you are all there yes any any guesses yes saurav you are exactly right he is none other than thomas alva edison saurav what did he invent saurav it's not charles babbage it's thomas alva edison yes bulb yes exactly he invented bulb okay so you know when thomas alva edison went to a school and one day as he was coming out from the school the teacher gave him a letter and the and after reading the letter the mother said of uh, uh, thomas alva edison from tomorrow you are not going to go to school edison the reason behind uh, the teachers are telling that you're so intelligent and then they are not able to teach you so you are going to have a home schooling then believing this word he didn't open the letter he didn't read and it was uh, uh, edison's mother who was teaching him a lot and lot and uh, he one day became very successful in life okay he has invented though he had got faced a lot of failures and he became successful in life and then he is a successful inventor he is a successful inventor and he is one example who is an inventor and also an entrepreneur and also an entrepreneur after so many years he went to his home okay and he was taking he was cleaning the room of the mother okay and her mother all passed away and he saw the letter given by the teacher when he was very small that was his last day of schooling when he opened the letter and he read what was written the teacher had written your son is mentally ill he cannot be accommodated in the school so don't send him home don't send him to school this was the letter given by the teacher to edison's mother but what did edison's mother say how she read the letter she read the letter as you are very intelligent the teachers were not able after she passed away only she was able to find he was able to find this was a letter given but it is because of the mother who trained her and he became very successful always success is not the same how with the positive attitude are we going to approach the problem he is one example of an innovate inventor and entrepreneur okay and um, and people who have the throat cancer right to people who have throat cancer they remove the vocal box okay and they will not be able to speak okay it, they take it would take more lakhs to replace it but see a doctor okay has invented just with 1 dollar okay and that it does not have any it's just a pipe see this doctor is transforming the lives of th- throat cancer patients okay they remove the vocal boxes and uh, this is the very best innovation that uh, we have c- ever come across innovation should reduce and for the benefit yeah that the matter of the year pa ange yena pa idla idu yakane nan bandu nan aapu istalli yen 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 so a prosthetic replacement voice box could cost around 1000 which many people cannot afford it comes around 70 80000 patients come to us in an advanced stage where it's difficult to preserve the voice box and 80% of the shall raw doctor we shall poor background majority of our healthcare is private and cost prohibitive 
that was the reason that I felt that there was a dire need to actually help these patients speak again because speech is a right and not a privilege. So he convinced there could be a cheaper way for these patients. They, uh, by funding the development process and manufacturing, he reduced the cost to be of imagine thousand dollars to one dollar. This is the device. Can you see the white one here? This throat device. Cancer patients, especially in stage four, end up losing their voice box to throat cancer because by that time the voice box is completely destroyed. Now, in this set of patients, they can speak again if the wind pipe is connected to the food pipe yes. and the air supply from the lungs are able to, to vibrate, vibrate the food pipe so that the patient can speak again. Now it is here that the brain trains the food pipe to vibrate again and help the patient speak. Can you see? Uh, can I introduce myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Nandi Satya Narayan. I am 70 years old but I am very young at heart always. Can you see this device? This is a simple device. It allows patients to, to, to phonate or to make voice yes, again, again. And back to to, to leading a full life and oftentimes it is the only ticket they have to getting back to employment and to having a fulfilling and economically sufficient life. Just remove your voice box and them. See, these are some things that as students you can think of it. Okay, as students you can think of it all right the top as because your computer science students the top trending technology for 2021 and furthermore you should work on artificial intelligence machine learning i'll give you a glimpse of these technology artificial intelligence and machine learning where you can contribute a lot on rpa the robotic process automation the edge computing the quantum computing plays a vital role vr and ar i, I know some students are working on to this technology blockchain internet of things and 5g technologies so we need to upgrade ourselves. How many of you are using, have used Google Lens? Yes, no. How many of you have used Google Lens? Yes or no? Quick answers. Yeah, Ajit, you have raised your hands. So when you take a mobile, okay, when you take a mobile, and when you open your Google application, now also you can open it, okay, the Google application. Can you see? And you can see a uh, lens kind. Can you see the Google lens? So as you take up, scan up the search. So you will get the same visuals of the noodles or on to beneath. I want students to try. You can click on dining. Can you see? On Google Lens, dining. Can you see dining? Okay. When you click on dining and just show the menu card, scan the menu card, it will show me. It is showing which, uh, which parlor or which hotel is near to my home. Okay, this is an example of the Google Lens. Okay, how innovative. This is College of Engineering. Just when you scan it on places, it will just tell me, it will directly take you to the website or you can also use your searches. Okay, or you can also use your searches. Okay, and this is for if you search, the same kind of images will be loaded. The same kind of images. Can you see? I've, I've just taken a picture of Logitech. I'm getting all the pictures, okay? So these are some in where AI and ML algorithm plays a vital role inside the Google Lens. Okay, augmented reality and machine learning are two big players into the technology world. Okay, the, the possibilities of ML representing, the machine learning representing are endless. With the ability to track and understand the three world, machine learning adds extra details to the augmented reality. Okay, so here, um, like the good example that we're seeing is about Google Lens. Some of you are saying you have used it. Can you see, can one of you scan it and take your Google Lens and select translate 
and uh, take this image and let me know what is the word that you get it for this Chinese word. I've got it. What is this word? Anybody tried? Just open your Google Lens and select translate option down. Chinese character for listening. What is the word you are getting? Anybody has got any word or you are trying it out? Yes, no? You should get here. Okay. Listen to you. Exactly correct, Saranya. Hats off to you, Saranya. Okay. Like this, see, technology like that, you can create, innovate some new tools. Okay. Video vision. Okay. It's a smart class that combines ML and AR. Machine learning and augmented as you walk, detect, detects the traffic, the performance, it routes the direction without blocking your vision, without blocking your vision. So these are technologies that you should equip yourself to become a successful innovators or yes, innovators in the near future. And as you walk, it will, it will tell you the traffic, it will guide you the routes, even without blocking, even without blocking. This is called Vigarim's presence, where your vision, okay, where your vision. Okay, hairdressers, okay, hairdressing uses AR and ML. Okay, there's something called magic mirror, royal. So if you want to color your hair, how your hair is going to look like, it's called Modi Face 3D Real Time Video Hair Color Coloration Demo. That you can try it out. All right. And then we don't have much time. I'm not going in deep into it. And how many of you have seen this? Real, real, real Paris. Have you tried this? Have you ever tried this website, lorealparis.uk, true matcher, the live one? Yes. yes or no? Some answers, I'm getting it. If you have tried this website, type yes. If you have not tried, type N. Students, are you there? Have you tried this? Is my voice audible? I hope it's audible. Yeah, you have not tried. Two answers I've got. Okay, I'll show you a simple demo. Okay, see how being a computer science people, you should try to have something like this. Uh, see, uh, there is something called live try on. I can also upload. Okay, what blushers you want to buy nowadays due to pandemic? Most of us, we go in for an online. Okay, it will take our live uh, camera, will take our faces. All right, and as I change the blushes and it will show me, it cannot be 100%, but it, it shows. It shows. I will share this uh, uh, link with you on uh, the Google Meet. And you students also can try it out. You will find it interesting. I don't know whether it has got loaded. It's getting loaded. When I change the color, it will take my camera. Open up the camera. And as I change the blushes, and all, not only for blushes, whatever you want, you want a concealer or an eyeliner or want a, a foundation, whatever it is, it will show what foundation you want to use, what color you want to use. It will take. Yeah, can you see? Can you see some blushes over here with the foundation on my face? Yes. Yes. Can you see? So, uh, likewise, we can uh, keep trying it out before we buy. See, it is not the technology. It is not the uh, product. How, as of a student, how can you develop something like this? Okay. 
and uh, you can also change the color of it i hope some of you maybe tap and try okay what color i want i can tap i can try it out you can also try it out okay tap and try option is there anybody tried it out with blushes with eyeliners it's not, as computer science students it is not the end product how are you going to use it all right so there are many things uh, stopping that here and ar ml surgeries are there okay there you can think you cannot think of an entire surgery being a student you can think of something uh, smart that you can use it okay after the end of this i will stream it online you can also check it out okay the new ar technology done by john hopkins uh, university okay medical university where they have tried with combination of artificial intelligence and automation right it does not reduce the human effort okay the combination of artificial intelligence and automation is called as intelligent robotic process automation this is going to be the next for the five ten years okay how intelligent automation it's a combination of rpa and ai robotic process automation and how it is easing the job rpa plus ai analytics process discovery automation and optimize okay this is one technology i always advise students how ai is used in production okay you can see before we need humans but now computer vision okay on image processing is doing a very big job on to artificial intelligence in production it even finds even a micro crack that has been done which cannot be seen by the human eyes so mostly you students can train train yourself on open cv technology always i guide students and i advise students to use open source software which is not a paid software can you see lots and lots of images have been taken it distinguishes okay the the camera live camera goes and captures the image and they work with the recognition software that runs behind all right and here you can think of simulating something during your course of your college and in the production and even micro micro cracks also could be found in this even micro cracks could be. hotels in hotels ai is used in automation you can think of some simple services that you can go do it in your college okay it, you need to have a microcontroller and how to integrate so college is the only best place for you to enrich yourself and you will become successfully they ordered through the phone see the robot is coming and placing the how can i get it out and the robot is coming directly from the kitchen okay and it is delivering the food no humans there is where artificial intelligence and robotic they have ordered for a milk or water oh my milk they have ordered for a milk okay able to understand students okay ai they works on computer simulator robotics they work on physical world the input to ai you take they are both are different symbols and rules they are analog symbols okay they are bread how many of you know about sophia i don't think i need to present how many of you have learned about sophia the humanoid robot sorry this page was not been shared so this is about this is about the hotel robot and this is about how it is used in protection how many of you have seen the video of sofia the robot yeah you see it's a humanoid robot you can go in and check it out hands on robotics okay hands on robotics they give you the entire thing how it is the best students we are focusing on how it is developed and how you can innovate something more on to that i'm sorry if i'm not shared my screen properly okay and uh, how many of you have used uh, uh, cd alexa google assistant okay so there are three types of ai when you take there are strong ai weak ai and specialized ai when you take the best examples of weak ai where you need a human to give an input to it okay how many of you have used google uh, assistant alexa or siri yes and this quick contact how many of you have used 
Okay. So these are examples of weak AI. These are examples where you need an assistant robot. Okay. Strong AI or humanoid robots that you know about Sophia the robot. It is it has got even a visa to travel all over. Okay. So they perform tasks on their own. You need not give any input to it. Self-driving cars. Okay, Galileo. This is the first company they started working. Self-driving cars. It finds and then it finds the path if there is any block, and accordingly it drives on its own. Okay, the self-driving car where you need not have any intervention. They are strong AIs. Okay, we KIs you need to give an input to it. Okay, and you know about Sophia, the robot, robotic surgeries. I already told you about right. Specialized AIs are they perform only the specific task. Okay, they only do a specific task like painting or tightening. Okay. Can you see this? There is a lot of software that works and even in college, I want to, you, yeah, I always uh, I tell this as an advice, students can collaborate with students from different departments and then you can start working. See, when a human needs to, first the, the structure, the dimension of a thing is all fed into the software and the it has been mixed according to the color that is required and using a robot, this is the best example of AI and robot, but this is an example of a Specialized AI. There are three types: VK, where you need to give an input, Google Alexa, Siri, and uh, sorry, Google Assistant, Alexa, or Siri. And the strong AI, you need not give. See, this AI guided 3D scanning indoor structures that has been fed. It is simulated and fed, and you can sorry. And it will it will do the task automatically it will do the task automatically it is called autonomous painting robot autonomous painting robot you can see the details have been filled it's back to operated a person will be standing at the back checking whether it is being painting it so everything is fed with the dimension wherever there is space, what is the height it has to paint. Can you see so quick where this is the best example of AI combined with even there is a space, we will be feeding it, that particular space will be fed out. That will not be. This is an example of a specialized AI. And Sophia the robot, you know, an AI and artificial intelligence are same. No, they are different. Artificially intelligence robots. So robotics is different. Artificial now it's RPA, artificial intelligence robots are controlled by AI program. So AI is a very big field out of which is the subset is machine learning and deep learning. Okay. I hope uh, and I, I why I'm sharing this to be successful onto our industry wherever we walk. These are some of the technology trends. I'm sorry if I'm cry if I'm crossed time. These are some technology trends that we basically need to know for your best future. To be successful in a life, spend time to learn on new technology rather than wasting. Understand them how it is be you when a milk parlor uses WhatsApp. There is Ola, there is Uber, there is Amazon Flipkart. You can also think some same thing or different innovations on tools like that. Take care of your health. That's more important most of us we forget to take care of your health your health is your wealth okay be creative be creative in whatever you do do not copy things be creative encourage see only few people will encourage you for others you have to encourage yourself that you can achieve and you will become a big business person in your life and you will be successful okay be self-confident be self-disciplined that i am this nobody can influence you more than you influence yourself be self-motivated these are can you see success s-u-c-c-e-s-s -E -S -S. to be successful once again i want to repeat it and complete it spend time to learn understand what the technologies you're learning take care of your health and of your discipline be you mentally be stable don't get depressed or dejected you will be successful in life take my words be creative encourage yourself self-confident and self-motivated this is my youtube channel you go to youtube and just type in dorian robin you'll be getting it when the session i'm live streaming it i'll be giving it to you Okay, hope this session was useful. I'll share this mentee link with you. You can just type in your name and come in. Can I take five minutes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll share it on the Google Meet. Just click this link. And just give in your name. 
there is no registration if you're using your mobile or um, whatever it is or a uh, system anything it works it's a very simple que uh, mcq question you can give your name it will come yeah few of you have come five of you have come okay it's just click the link and give your name anybody i hope you're able to understand whatever we have discussed at least little of it and in my company we provide interns now we have got opening for data analytics okay we give you a problem definition and data set if you are if you're strong on technology you can approach us directly you can develop it if not we give you training like 20 hours 40 hours training and then taking up the training you can develop with your data sets so data set analysis on machine learning deep learning algorithms internship is going on you can channelize through and i will share my contact details also at the end okay out of 50 to 16 i've joined okay i will start now we don't have much time the first question for the day let's see who's going to win all right entrepreneurs or fathers of be careful invention or innovation or none of the above we discussed during a session all right one yes the time is up don't give your answers here you have to give your answers there yeah you just click the link give your name 13 of you have given the right answer and out of which who has given the fastest will be the winner for the first round let's quickly see Hema Madhi, Rupika, Leena, Yashwan Singh, V2, Pooja, Shri Pratibha. And the first place for the first round, it goes to Hema Vadi. Congratulations. Let's move on to the second question for the day. All right. Which of the following is an example of strong AI? We saw about three types of AI, right? Siri, painting robot or self-driving cars? Strong AI. Strong AI. Three, two, and one. Yes, here we go. Let's find strong AI. And the right answer is self-driving cars. Self-driving cars. On the example of strong AI, we saw about three AIs, right? Let's see. Was given the right answer. Yeah, most of you have given the right answer. And the first place, fastest is Pratipa. And the first place in the second round is Ritu. Third question. Here we go. I don't know what's the question. Let me find it out. Now, Siri belongs to, we saw about three types of AI. Do you remember? Weak AI, strong AI, and specialized AI. Four, three, two, one, one, 26 of you have answered. Out of 60, 26 are participating it. 50%, almost 50. Siri is an example of weak ai because you have to give inputs let's see in this round first round m avadi second round three two oh, third again it's three two is the first leela second pratiba third okay let's move on to the fourth question the final question will tell who's the best of all Are robotics and artificial intelligence are the same or different? You have seen this. Are they same or different? Mm. 
Okay. They are different. Let's see. <laughs> it's a strong competition, G2. I don't know your student or staff. Fastest Pratipa and Dina. The next question. Yeah, fifth question. What's the question all about? The combination of AI and aut in automation is proper popularly called as AI in automation. It is robotics in automation or intelligence robot product automation or intelligent robotic process automation. Let's see who's giving the right answer. For oh, 26 of you have given the right answer, you're fast. And let's see who's going to be the winner. The correct answer is intelligent robotic process automation. Let's see who's the winner. Arito always the fastest. I don't know whether teacher or student. Yes, the first place goes to Ritu. The second, Leela. A third, Pratiba. Fourth, the Saurav, and the fastest in the final uh, round is um, uh, Kirti Vardhana. Kirti Vardhana. Thank you, girls and boys and faculties, for listening to the talk. My story, motivational, and I touched up more because it's computer science. And um, and you can give your feedbacks onto that. You've given a title like your feedbacks about today's session. You can just. Uh, how did you find whether you were able to learn something new? You can give it over there. So I'll share my contact details. Hope the session was useful to you. Onto the chat, you can make a note of it. And this is my YouTube channel. I'm sharing the YouTube channel link too. So, even today's session, it is getting live streamed. And a lot of videos are there if on IPR, on Google AR, VR lenses, artificial intelligence, okay. And uh, many, many videos are there, all right, on digital tools, okay. Data science for business, okay. And automation, blockchain technology. It could be useful. You can share, you can like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And also, how did you find about the session? I'm streaming it here. And after that, you can give it on to the comments. You can give it on to the comments. Thank you so much for listening to the session. Hope you have learned something. Yeah, so one of you have given. Yeah, so many of you have given. So good feedback. Interesting and good, ma'am. And the uh, session was excellent. Good. Thank you. Fabulous. Wonderful. Informative. Found it the best. Thank you so much, girls and boys. Over to the organizers. Thank you for the opportunity given. God bless you. Ma'am, it was an interesting, informative, and inspiring session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Well, welcome. Now, I request Dr. S. Sridhar Kumar, at Suri Department of ESC, Dr. TTIC, to propose this post of time.
Thank you, madam. Good afternoon, all. Thank I'm you. Thank 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 you.